Good morning, neighbors. Let's sing an old hymn this morning. A meeting in the air. You have heard of a little Moses in the bulrush. You have heard of fearless David and his sling. You have heard the story told of dreaming Joseph and of Jonah and the whale you often see. There are many, many others I should like to meet them all, I do declare. By and by the Lord will surely let us meet them at the meeting in the air. There is going to be a meeting in the air in the sister who wrote that song there's really not any information about her that you can I guess if you really really searched maybe you'd find something but it's an interesting thought that a lot of people don't want to uh, focus or fixate on nowadays the first verse is a very positive one you know you've heard of all these heroes of the faith who've gone on before that we're going to get to meet them someday 
But the second and the third verse, it's a warning. You know, the doubters will be missing altogether. And actually, the mourners bench is placed there. You would sit there and mourn wayward loved ones, people who have lost. It's going to be gone because at that time, all the tears will be wiped from our eyes. It will just be glorious for those who've gone, those who've had, who've believed and walked after Jesus Christ and found that straight gate. But I'm afraid, like Francis Chan and different uh, many ministers or priests, but he said, you know, it's a, it's a fearful thing that you'd preach to people for many, many years and they still go to hell because they've never really turned their life over. And uh, they still want to flirt with the things of this world. Uh, if you've ever watched the original Left Behind movie with Kirk Cameron, uh, it always stood out to me that there's a minister there and his church has been raptured. And yet here he is and he said, I've taught these things. I've taught these things for years. But there's a difference between the knowledge and actually believing it. And I pray, you know, if you really, truly, if you, I pray that you believe because if you do believe, you're walking that path. You're not just, it's not just a mental thing. It's something within your heart has changed. And there's a warning in this song. Uh, will you be there or will you not? Will you attend the meeting or not? I've talked to some people and said, why would I want to go to heaven? Nobody, I, I, won't, I don't like anything that's there anyways because I don't want to live it here on this life. Why would I want to spend eternity trying to do that? So it's a, there is a warning. There's a, there's a danger that you can miss out on if you're not truly transformed. And second, uh, you know, and the song says, you know, those who have the wedding garments on will be present. And it's the second Thessalonians chapter one <coughs> and verse three. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting because your faith grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you all abounds toward each other. So that we ourselves, both of you among the churches of God for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure. Uh, you have to look at your life. Lord, if I'm really showing the world Jesus Christ, these are the things that he promised would happen, persecution and tribulation. Uh, and Paul is saying, you know, we're, I know it's difficult, but I, we love you so much because we know what you're going through, uh, because he's going through it as well, which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you also suffer. Since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you, and to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. So he's letting them know the people who persecute you, they will be judged for these things. And those of you who are being persecuted from Jesus Christ's name, when Jesus comes again, you will be royalty. Uh, in flaming fire taking vengeance on those who do not know God, and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe, because our testimony among you was believed. And I like that when he, when he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe. We will admire and we will love and we will be thrilled to be with him but like i said there's some people destroy him we don't want nothing to do with that therefore we also pray always for you that our god would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness in the work of faith with power that the name of our lord jesus christ may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our god and the lord jesus christ so lord god help us to take it serious let it not just be something that okay i've obeyed the rituals no it has to be a transplant in the heart of people who believe and who walk and obey his commands so god bless you all this day and i pray that we'll all be together in that meeting in the air in jesus christ's name